so uh, welcome back you brewers. Um what I've done is I've pulled the um, transparency film off and let this dry so now it's completely dry uh, you will notice that there's still you'll see where the uh, transparency came off now what you can do is you can just take some sandpaper if you want really fine stuff and sand it back so it's not like an obvious line or um, what else you could do as well what else I could do is um, spray paint this hair shape over the top again um, and that'll really help it to fade that line out but um, I'm pretty happy with how the image came out it actually came out really good so now I'm going to go downstairs and um, work on um, the rest of it see how we go but yay that doesn't mean that I haven't got an overall idea of the type of thing that I would have liked to make, but I don't know how to make it. Yes. So you come in with an overall image which you don't want to define, except through working towards it. Yeah, no, but that's exactly how it is. Yes. That, uh, that's putting yourself at risk all the time, isn't it? Well, don't you think you have to? At least yes. as an artist, you always have to. Yeah. I mean, if otherwise, you turn into an academician. Are you excited when you're painting, or are you absorbed, or are you depressed, or what? Do you have a particular mood, or does it change a great deal? Well, of course, it changes like all our moods. Yeah. It changes, yes. But um, I have a very <clears throat> sort of optimistic nature, so I always think something is going to good's going to turn up or exciting. When you are actually following the oil, as you say, you make a brushstroke one way, and that takes you one way. Um, obviously, that's quite dangerous, and it might take you away that you find you don't like at all. What happens well, then? Well, very often that does happen and it um, just means destroying the canvas. You actually destroy the canvas? I do generally, yes. Mm -hmm. You don't clean it and but reuse it or anything? I don't, because you can't. You see, I work on the opposite side, <clears throat> the unprimed side of the canvas, and that can't be cleaned. It, it just soaks right into the, into the texture of the canvas. Yes. Why do you use, the, as it were, the wrong side of the canvas? Well, I was living once down in Monte Carlo, and I'd lost all my money, and um, I had no canvases left, and so the, the, the few I had, I just turned them, and I found that the, that the, that the um, what's called the, the wrong side, the unprimed side of the canvas, worked for me very, very much better, and so I've always used it, and that, it was just by chance that I had no money to buy canvases with. How does, it, how does it work better? I mean, what is better about it? Can you tell us? Yes. It holds, if you make a mark on it, you can rub it out on a, on a prime canvas and take it out. With that, it's there. It's indelibly made. I believe that sometimes you, well, you use a rag a lot on the canvas. You use brushes, uh, scrubbing brushes to scrub on. You actually throw paint sometimes at canvas. Can you talk about the relationship you have with the canvas in that very physical sense? Why is it important to you to sort of battle with it in that way? Because if you've ever seen somebody painting a wall or if you ever paint a wall yourself you will see that the first mark that you make and the, where the brush makes that mark it has a vitality that when you've got the overall thing created it's lost and so you want that first mark every that, mark to I be want, that first mark as it were yes what's to be gained by throwing paint literally at a canvas well that was i only did for, uh, for, for in a few paintings I was sick of the look of them, I just threw a lot of paint on them. And, um, and they, t they turned out, well, they turned out, as they did. I quite liked them. <laughs> Is there any way it, that you finish a painting, or do you just leave it? I know when it's finished. I mean, my instinct tells me when it's finished. I can't do any more to it. Do you work continuously on the one painting or the triptych or do you, can you work on something, leave it for six months or even a year and come back later or do you clear what you're doing? No, practically everything I do I work, I work very quickly and I work on them, for instance the triptychs, I can't, as you can see in a room like this I couldn't work on them all together, yeah. so I just work on them and um, they, they happen to join up. Yeah. You see, when I do these, uh, these paintings, I have had the, an overall idea of what I want to do, but um, as I'm always hoping the chance is going to work in my favour, I don't really know. 
I don't try to read my work. I don't really know what it means. It, I only know what it means to me uh, formally. So you're resisting telling a story. I mean, that is not telling a story. Very, very much so. I don't want to tell a story. I have no story to tell. I, I like the starkness of the image. I want it to give me a shock. Now, shock, you could say, is a form of expression. But what expression it is, I don't know. It's a visual shock. It's not, it's not a, a shock about, um, it's not a, a shock that you could get from a story. It's, a, it's just a, a, a visual shock.